Well, Connor, uh, a lot of talk about the other Connor and well, you guys going head to head. What's your mindset as you know you, you play against McDavid, a guy you would have watched a lot when you were younger too? Yeah, I mean, I I don't think either of us would see it as you know individual head to head. It's it's our teams going at it, and uh, for me, obviously watching him the past. I guess eight years in the NHL and, and following him, of course, like like any hockey fan before that, and just what he's been able to do is, you know, just remarkable. So um, getting to see it up close here tonight and go against it should be a lot of fun. A little bit of time spent with him in the, in the summer. Uh, did you take anything out of that? What what did you see from him in the off season that impressed you? Uh, yeah, just how he approaches every day and and how hard he works, how driven he is to get better and 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 win. And um, you know, I think that was great for me. I was with him and and Leon, and I feel like. Half the Oilers team was kind of training in the same spot, so it was, it was funny. But um, yeah, so I got to be with a lot of those guys. But yeah, those two obviously, um, you know, uh, approach the game in such a such a great way, and it's good to see that on a daily basis. Do you think it was good for you right out of the gate the way you did, kind of head to head there with, with Sid, and just to get something like that happening right away? There's going to be a few moments like that for you through the year, but it just kind of happened right away. Yeah, uh, it was cool for me. Uh, obviously, kind of childhood idol, and uh, I get to go get some. The first night is pretty special, but um, yeah, I think every night you're, you're going in, you can pick a few players on each team or, or whatnot that you're pretty excited to play, but uh, yeah, going against him game one was, was pretty cool. You're seeing a lot of these teams for the first time, all of them for the first time. How much how much homework do you do on the guys that will be defending you? Like, Would you take a close look at the order blue line tonight and study up a little, just given you haven't faced these guys before? Um, I don't know. I think just, you know, I, I'm someone I like to watch hockey, and Oilers are an exciting team to watch, and um, obviously one of the best teams in the league, and um, just with the guys they have, you always try to try to tune in when they're playing, so um, you see some stuff, but I don't know, no, nothing nothing too crazy. You're not the only rookie on this team. Do you guys talk, like, does Polino or Luke or anyone talk about not being in awe of some of these players that you go up against, whether it's Crosby, Ovechkin, McDavid? Um, yeah, a little, I guess, but I think it, it's kind of a given. I think maybe I can warm up and stuff, look over, and um, you know, take take it in there. And then once the game starts, it's it's hockey, and um, you know, you're trying to trying to beat them, obviously. But um, you know, it's special for us going against guys like this. And um, you know, I think you can't take it for granted, but you can't go out there and be starstruck when he's he's coming down on you. When you get a chance to be around a guy like McDavid, do you, are you somebody who like seeks out advice or anything, or are you more just kind of watching and learning by you know how he handles himself, how he plays, that sort of thing? Yeah, a bit of both. I mean, I don't want to know him too much, but uh, you know, if I can throw a couple questions in there, and uh, he was great with me this summer. He you know was always kind of give me little things, and um, you know it was really cool to see such a such a nice, humble guy, and it was pretty cool for me to get to spend some time with him. But um, yeah, I think just try to watch him and and see what he does. That you know maybe. Kind of separates him. How many other games would you say you've watched? You say? I have no clue. I just kind of. <laughs> if they're on, you'll just. If they're on, yeah, I'll tune in, and um, you know, obviously playoffs last year, last few years, and everything. So uh, fun team to watch, and obviously they got some players that can, uh, you know, do some do some crazy things on a nightly basis. Yeah, you come in here at a time of the year where they've really found their game. They're seven in a row here and playing well. Maybe just a thought on the challenge because I know you guys have some injuries and you're a little banged up. Like tall order, but good challenge. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty funny the first 10 games of the year. Everyone was freaking out, but, um, you know, they've been one of the best teams in the league for three, four years now. So, I mean, I don't think it's to anyone's surprise that um, they're doing what they're doing now. I mean, I think maybe seven, eight in a row or, or whatever they're at right now. So, um, you know, we, we know coming in how good they are. And, um, you know, so we're excited for that challenge. And, uh, yeah.